This video is sponsored by Mini Tool Partition. Today I will review Mini Tool Partition Wizard 12.8 version. So let's get started. And here we go. First of all, we need to open our browser. For the example, I will open Microsoft Edge browser. Then you need to copy this link, partitionwizard.com. Link I will leave in the video description. After this, you need to paste the link and press enter. As you can see, we are on the official website from which we can download Minitool Partition Wizard. So you need to scroll down a little bit, move the mouse cursor to Home User and select Partition Wizard Free. For the example, the software is compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10 and even Windows 11. Actually, it supports all Windows. Also, I want to mention one very important thing that to use the software normally, you need to purchase a license. So I think it's important to know. After downloading the X file, you can open it and install. Select yes. Now we can close the browser. Select the suitable language for you. For the example, I will select English. In my case, I will select Try Pro Trial for free. Click Next. Select Next. One more time, click here. Now, loading process begin. In general, it will take about one minute to install all important components. Mission accomplished. Now we can click on Finish and it will automatically run the software. Here we are in Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Today, I will discuss probably one of the most usable features, data recovery and Windows migration. So I will insert my USB stick. I successfully inserted my USB stick into the laptop. As you can see, my USB drive has three photos. For the example, you accidentally deleted one of these photos and voila, they disappeared. You need to navigate to data recovery. Click here. In data recovery, you may see logical drives and devices. So in our case, we want to recover data from a USB stick. So of course we can select devices. Also, you can recover data from specific place. For example, from the recycle bin, you can select the folder or you can try to find your lost data on the desktop. I will click here. Scroll down a little bit and yes, this is my USB drive. So I will click on scan. This process may take a while. It will depend on the storage of your SSD, hard drive, or in my case of a USB drive. I succeed. As you can see, we have 6,848 files, but to make it more easier to find our photos, we can click on the type, then navigate to pictures, click on it. It will be much easier to find them if you know the format of the photos. For example, I will click on JPG. So as you can see, we have a preview option, so we can click on it, select yes. This may take a few seconds and voila, now we are able to preview the photo before recovering the photo. One more time, I want to remind you that this is not free. So let's move forward to the next feature and that is migrating windows. Select migrate OS to SSD or HDD drive. In this window, you have two options. The first option, I would like to replace my system disk with another hard disk. That is, Mini Tool Partition Wizard will copy all the partitions on the system disk to another hard disk. Or I would like to copy my operating system to another hard disk and keep the original hard disk in my computer. In my case, I will select the first option. Click next. Please pay attention because you need to choose a hard disk to migrate OS to. I will select this hard drive. Actually, it has more space than SSD drive. Then I will click next. In the copy options, I will select fit partitions to entire disk. And also we can tweak some options here. In my opinion, it's a pity to allocate all space only for a C drive. To split C drive, we need to click here, move the mouse cursor, double click and you can move it to the left. And now we can allocate, for example, 100 gigabytes for C drive and the rest space for E or D drive. After all this process, you just need to click on next and the process will begin. My conclusions. This software has a simple and friendly interface. Plus, it's easy to use, but it's not free. So use it or not, of course, it all depends on you.